Hi everyone. By now, you would have heard that Jiden in Jurong East has just had a very successful launch with almost 88% sold yesterday, which is the first day of launch. As predicted, the one and two bedders are completely sold out. Even for the two plus study, we are now left with just around four units on the very high floor, which are asking around $2,800 per square foot plus minus. And I suspect these could be snapped up pretty soon too. Congratulations to the buyers who have gotten a unit at JDEN. For buyers with two to around $2.5 million budget, what if I told you there is a hidden gem now in the market that is about to TOP anytime soon and located in probably the most prestigious enclave in Singapore, Nassim. The Nassim Enclave, as we all know, usually requires high eight figures to own a prized asset there. And it is insane that you could actually now own a property here at around the same price quantum as a property in the OCR or RCR region. You're just a short walk to Napier MRT, Botanic Gardens, Tanglin Mall and Orchard Road. Look, this is a hidden golden opportunity if you have felt that Orchard Road is out of reach at around $2 million. I am now waiting for the official release for sale and the green light to show you the actual units once TOP is achieved. I had previously done a detailed webinar with my friend Colin and also shot a fly through video of 19 Nassim Hill. I have inserted these clips next in this video. Please take a deep dive, take note of my number and reach me on my handphone so that I can immediately update you once I get the news. So next, let's understand from Colin on what 19 Nassim Hill has in store for you. As you can see here, this one is actually the, the uh, location map of uh, 19 Nassim. All right, where it's sitting on is actually between Nassim Hill and Napier Road itself. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go very much onto this map because a lot of the things are labeled already. All right, as you can see over here, um, as you can see over here, all right, these are actually the different embassies which are just right across the road. All right, we have like the US Embassy, the English, uh, the British Council, we have the Australian High Commission. And of course, uh, just slightly uh, to the south, you have the uh, China Embassy. All right, of course, uh, in this uh, Nassim Road itself, okay, there's uh, also the Japanese Embassy, the Philippines uh, Embassy, and slightly further up, you have the Russian Embassy as well. Okay, so, uh, and you know, from here, you can tell that on the left to Nassim itself is a very nice nostalgic place. Uh, every now and then, you know, it's still upgrading, even to today. And in, uh, it, you know, just a few years back, it actually uh, gotten its uh, status as a World Heritage Site, okay, UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is actually our very own Singapore Botanic Gardens. Okay, this is a very lovely place uh, since, you know, like last time till now, whereby people actually, you know, in the past, if uh, I, I read back the history of Orchard, a lot of people actually go there for, for dating, you know, or even for their, their gatherings and stuff. Now, for now, I believe, you know, it's uh, still a nice place if, let's say, you know, people still go there for their, their, you know, their regular exercises if they stay around there. And on the other side, of uh, Nassim, which is on the right of it, is actually the uh, Orchard Shopping Belt. Okay, it actually stretches from the Tanglin Mall, 2.2 uh, kilometers, all the way stretching to the Dobby God area. So, you know, it's one spot whereby it's in between a two different kind of uh, 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 lifestyle. And of course, you know, uh, in a way, what it retains along with it, 19 Nassim, is also, is, as mentioned just now, uh, very low density living, okay, in a area which is so close by to Orchard. Okay, I'm going to switch to the next slide where we can have a, sorry. So what do I mean by low density? Okay, we actually did a uh, pretty thorough research on the different developments around there. 
Now, as we know, is uh, Nassim's, you know, it's, it's known for its GCBs around there. It's uh, one area with all the large houses, you know, uh, with some of the most prominent people staying around there. Okay. Um, largely, of course, we know that last year there's one transaction that actually is uh, the, 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 the new record uh, for in terms of a single transaction. It was actually transacted, uh, change hands at over 200 million, over 200 million for one GCB, which is by uh, a single transaction, the largest size. Now, uh, today I'm not going to touch on all this because we are looking at more of the non landed developments. So looking around Nasim itself, uh, you can see that there is these, just these number of developments uh, around Nasim, especially with the Nasim address. Now, uh, there are some that are not on Nasim address. We still mark it out because we find that you know, it's really a bit too close not to, uh, not, not, not to bring into relevance. So we mark it in white. But if we take a careful look in the ones in the yellows, okay, there's a few traits that you will find uh, among these developments that is there is no one development that has too many units all right typically they if you can see from all this information down here right for every development they are running only in a range of like below 10 units up to the largest being nasin park residences uh, it's only about 100 units so all in all uh, if we are to mark it down to the uh, non-landed developments with a Nassim address, okay, there is only a total of 489 units in all. That's all. It's really a limited addition. So it's, it's not those kind of, by, you know, you have plenty of alternatives or choices when you talk about, you know, wanting to get a place in Nassim. All right. Uh, and this time around for 19 Nassim, it's a new offering of only 101 units. All right. And... It is also something that I'm going to share in a bit is what is so different about 19 Nassim? What is different that we are offering this time around as compared to most of the rest? Uh, hi, anyone with me? <laughs> because yep, we are, we, I'm, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Okay, good, good. Sorry, because I'm looking into a, a screen that is, I don't see anyone. <laughs> okay, uh, no. I will touch very quickly uh, with just this picture. I think a picture speaks a thousand words. Uh, this thousand words, I must say, uh, really reflects a lot about this development itself. It, it, it really can uh, let you picture, uh, you don't have to imagine, it can really picture how it's going to be like if let's say once uh, 19 Nassim is built you know, upon TOP and if you're gonna stay in, what are the things that you can expect? All right, you don't have to imagine. Okay, so this is something that is done by developer. Now, um, for those who actually went, uh, uh, we actually have this uh, app, but I'm sorry, I'm not able to, to uh, mirror this into the presentation, so I can only take this picture. As you can see here, this is this development over here, right? So basically, it's uh, quite striking considering, you know, um, in terms of the color scheme, you know, on the facade itself, um, I think, uh, the developer Capo Land, they, they actually, uh, the architect is actually SCDA. So they actually choose something that uh, contrasts against the other developments around there. Okay, so as you can see down here is for 19 Nassim, there are basically only three facing. Okay, so which are the three? Uh, if you can follow me with my this cursor over here is, right, the first facing will be the Nassim facing which actually faces right, a lot of greenery. And of course, on this side, largely will be the huge houses, the GCBs. So this is something which you know, uh, all along attracts a lot of uh, curiosity. And you know, for people who are familiar or want to find out about Nassim, this is something that they, they, they really like. They like, yeah, to be honest. Okay, now the second facing, as you can see here, will be more towards this direction. So as you can see from here, this direction actually faces towards the east. And um, if you notice, if I put my cursor here, okay, the developments on the right of my cursor are a little bit taller than the developments on the left of it. Now those developments which are here, the range over here, which I'll show you on the, on the map later, uh, they are typically 
about stories. Whereas uh, for 19 Nassim, we are 10 stories tall. So basically, in terms of uh, height-wise, we do stand uh, some advantage. Although we don't have to go like th 20 floors, 30 floors, like, you know, what uh, the usual orchard resident, uh, those residences ar uh, around the orchard area uh, are. Uh, down here, you know, you, 10 stories is more than enough to get an unblocked view. So looking towards the east, actually, if you look carefully, right, uh, of course, there is this building over here, which is the Interpol. Uh, but it, it's not going to really block your view. In fact, you look over on this side, uh, right, across uh, and over like the uh, Nassim Park residences, the Nassim, and looking towards the orchard area. All right, and then the third facing will be towards here. Right, this is the south facing. South facing wise, you know, it offers another um, block a nice open view all right, across the embassies and the uh, landed estates over here. Okay, so uh, this is actually what we call the Napier facing. So basically, this, uh, this is a very, uh, a very nice description about the area that you can expect you know, from this development. Okay, um, so I'm going to touch very quickly here as, you know, what does 19, uh, 19 Nassim offer that, is, uh, that, that sets us you know, truly different or apart from uh, the other uh, developments around there. Okay, uh, okay, let's not talk about the, uh, the product itself first. Okay, what I have to share here is if we base on location itself, uh, this, as you can see on this uh, map over here, which I've drawn two different circles, all right, the inner circle being 300 meters radius from 19 Nassim, and the outer circle being 500 meters. Now, actually, 500 meters is, uh, I will leave it for you know, another day. I'll just touch on the 300 meters. Now, if you see carefully what we have within our 300 meters radius, now, 300 meters is, you know, by today's standards, still considered a very good distance because, you know, even at a very casual leisure stroll, we are talking about like a less than five minutes walk over. So, as you can see from here, 19 Nassim is positioned in such a way that uh, it's, it's really a Nassim address converged with convenience. Uh, so what kind of convenience are we talking about? Now, um, never have anyone, never uh, have, did we ever imagine that you know, people staying in Nassim can enjoy the uh, convenience of facilities like the MRT, you know. If let's say 10 years ago, you tell me, uh, you know, really, who would have thought of that? So, but this time around is very different. Uh, this time around, because of the new Thompson East Coast Line, actually, it, it adds a lot of uh, mobility and accessibility into such uh, prestigious uh, locations. And Nassim is one of the beneficiary of this MRT line. As you can see from here, all right, is that in front of Glen Eagles Hospital, or just uh, between Glen Eagles and Botanic Gardens. Okay, there's this MRT station over here. All right, so this is actually the Napier station. All right, the distance, if let's say you look on over here, all right, at my bar below. Okay, from 19 Nassim, the distance to the Napier MRT is merely about 200 meters. 200 meters, I will say, you know, it's a very, very near distance. Uh, I don't think anyone will complain that, you no, know, oh, I have to walk 200 meters to, 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 to the MRT station or to a place. So other than that, what else do we have? Walking in that direction, all right, is we have the uh, Glen Eagles, the MRT, and of course, you know, even before the 300 meters mark, you actually touch the Tangling Gate of the Botanic Gardens. Well, uh, that is actually one of the uh, very prominent, you know, uh, um, uh, spot of the botanic gardens. Many of times you notice that you know a lot of photographs are taken at that gate in particular as well. Okay, now uh, what about the other side? If let's you exit, you come up from 19 Nassim, you walk the other direction. Okay, you notice that within 300 meters, you actually uh, will reach this Tanglin Mall, whereby there's a lot of the uh, groceries where you can get. Uh, actually, grocery-wise, uh, just to uh, very quickly, I just want to touch this Tanglin post office. 
Now, Tanglin Post Office itself is, uh, well, for people who, are, who may not be familiar, all right, give it a try. If let's say next time when you're around there, there's a very nice cafe over there called the Nassim Hill Cafe. And right next to it is, uh, there is one grocery uh, 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 supermarket as well. Okay, so along this point, as you can see, all right, Tanglin Mall is also the, you know, the start of the Orchard Shopping Belt. All right, and it spans across towards the uh, Orchard uh, residences or you know, the uh, Ion Orchard as we know all the way, you know, shooting up towards Somerset and Dobigot. And slightly below this Tanglin Mall, as you can see, is another MRT station, which is the Orchard Boulevard. So all in all, I will say, you know, uh, what we offer here is if compared to most of the other developments in Nassim, you know, we are indeed very much nearer to the amenities. You know, it's, it's something whereby you you are still living with that very nice old elusive prestige and yet, you know, you are getting that convenience whereby usually only the, uh, the more up and coming areas whereby they, they stand to have, you know, this kind of uh, amenities. So this is something that is different. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you what we are looking at in that neighborhood over there. All right, so this is actually a slightly close up a close up of the uh, surrounding uh, for 19 or uh, Okay, Colin, so Colin, I, Colin, I just yeah. want to break you a little bit from here yeah. because I realized that we got to show this very important piece of information before we continue. All right, <laughs> right <Okay>. here. <laughs> Disclaimer clauses. All right, this will apply anything from the beginning of this video all the way to the end. Okay, so with that in mind, let's continue. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, PK. Uh, yeah, I got to leave the disclaimer to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to help me disclaim as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, <now>. everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, Ken. So, as you, uh, so this is actually the map of the neighborhood around uh, 19 Nassim. All right, so from here, you know, from what I described earlier, it gives you a very clear picture of what you can expect. Now, um, as mentioned, is if, if you can see my cursor over here, Right, so this is Nassim Hill itself, and this is Napier Road itself. So there's a side gate along Napier Road. Our main gate is actually along this Nassim Hill itself. So um, if we talk about staying here, all right, as other than what we saw just now, if let's say you are for, for buyers who are especially, uh, they know what they want or they are very, uh, picky over like you know the facing and kind of stuff. I think this actually serves to give a, a very clear picture of what they can expect so that they can make a more informed decision when they you know uh, pick their unit of their choice. Now as you can see from here the developments from the loft the stretch over here like the loft the Nassim Tangni residences for example now this whole stretch over here as mentioned earlier uh, they are not tall in fact they are only about five stories uh, high so uh, basically for over here right you don't have to worry about if you want to get a, um, a an unblocked view towards that direction those direction whether towards the the north or the east uh, i think people tend to ask how tall is the tree instead of how tall are these developments because i think some of the trees over there may be taller than the developments all right um i managed to actually mark out some of the embassies around so you know uh this is just how close we are Right, and with the Interponix store, uh, well, I must say this is a very nice, uh, very safe place as well. In fact, we, we had um, customers or rather buyers who actually told us that they know this place very well and they like it for being a, you know, a, a very secure place whereby they don't expect uh, so-called strangers to be loitering, loitering around uh, you know, now and then kind of stuff. So, well, I just have to... to uh, okay, now this is uh, this is just a uh, even close up just to take a quick look. Okay, it's actually also to introduce on the unit types. Uh, now, unit types wise, as you can see here, is that uh, there are mainly three different kind of bedroom types. Um, so we have like the one bedroom and the one plus study. 
okay and then we have the two bedroom two plus study and the two bedroom uh, 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 premium that means it comes with a private lift and followed by that we have the three bedrooms now uh, just a very quick um, description on this is if you notice here all right is that the three bedrooms are the ones colored in gray I cover from the big to small first okay the big one first now for the three bedrooms over here we have will be uh, largely in stack one and stack 11 so they are all the Nassim Hill facing that means they actually faces the GCB areas or uh, you know the, the GCB is over there, the greeneries over there now what about the, the, the um, okay just a very quick mention there's uh, only one unit of three bedroom on top of stack 10 it's also the smallest that we have um, so that one will be facing also very nice uh, view towards Napier so it's relatively unblocked view towards the other direction as well now how about the two bedrooms two bedrooms actually is the the main uh, uh, composition of units in this development in fact uh, almost half of the uh, 101 units are two bedrooms so they are largely in the uh, the brownish uh, shades or the beigey beigey brownish shades so we have like uh, this unit over here facing towards nasim and then we have the stack three facing towards Orchard. And then we also have the uh, stack six, which is a two plus study, seven, nine. These are the two bedrooms. And this one is the uh, two bedroom with private lift. These will be facing towards the Napier side. Now, uh, as you can see from here is for the Napier road facing, uh, that's also where we place in a, a sort of like a raised up facilities over here which includes the hole itself okay so that actually helps to to uh, pull the distance you know a little bit further from you know between our units towards the road itself okay now one bedroom one bedroom there's uh, one bedroom and one plus study now for the one plus study will be largely down here stacks four and five uh, sim they, they are pretty much similar facing so they are more of the east facing and then we have the smaller units. The smallest units we have will be stack 8 and stack 12. So one will have the uh, nothing facing and the other one will be the neighbor facing. So, you know, one glance, you can really tell the different unit types where they're facing. So that, again, helps uh, very quickly in terms of, you know, uh, for anyone who's looking for any specific types, they will know what the choices or the options that are available to them. Okay, this is a, 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 just a very quick sharing, all right, in terms of, uh, because I just, let me just allow me to bring my uh, previous slide in again. Okay, because this map that we here is a 2D map, so everything is flattish. Now, but however, the real thing, the actual build up and structure is very different from uh, what you will expect. Like, for example, as mentioned, the pool area over here, the facilities over here, they are actually all elevated they are not on par level as the neighbor road street level so this is uh, just a very quick description on the uh, elevation okay so as you can see from here all right um this is the nasim hill street level and this is the napier road street level all right so uh, you are right we are sitting on uh, an undulating land so you know you get one side on a higher uh, on a higher elevation and the other side on a, a lower ground. So some people may express their concern over like, you know, you know, if, you know, are we going to be on the same level? Are we, are we sitting on a lower ground? Actually, no. This development, we actually raise up the whole thing so that we are actually more uh, sort of uh, marking towards the Nassim Hill Road level kind of uh, height. So if you based on the elevation from our first unit facing towards Napier against the road level, all right, the elevation is a good 14.6 meters. Now, 14.6 meters, if we are to talk about uh, our development around here, uh, per floor, we are talking about uh, a floor to floor is about three and a half meters. So that's almost uh, very close to a good four story height, four story height. All right, so this is just to share. And even for the pool level, right, they, there's, a, there's an elevation of about five and a half meters. So, you know, be rest assured, whether for yourself or buyers or whoever, right, uh, be rest assured that your privacy is really 
you know, at its best around there. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to share very quickly will be, you know, the sizes, okay? Uh, just, you know, uh, as a summary. Okay, the one bedrooms over here, the size, uh, the sizes that we're talking about, okay, they will be ranging at about 538 square feet to 570 square feet. So uh, that's for the one bedroom. Now for the two bedrooms, uh, sorry, for the one plus study, we are talking about 646 to 678 square feet uh, on a 6 ish. And then for the two bedrooms, the range will be larger. Uh, two bedrooms, the smallest I have, we have is about 807. All right, all the way up to a range of about 969. And if we are to talk about the two plus study and the uh, two bedroom with private lift, okay, the sizes will actually go beyond the thousand square feet. All right, we have the 1109 and the 1055 square feet over here. All right, so two bedrooms, the choices, you know, uh, in terms of size is a little bit more. Now for the three bedrooms wise, uh, there's only one unit of the uh, three bedroom that is facing towards Napier. Uh, so this unit will be a, uh, also the smallest unit that I have in terms of three bedrooms. This one is only about 1,324 uh, 1, square feet. Now how about the rest? The rest would be very close to about, uh, it's about 1,004-ish, close to 1,005, uh, all the way to about 1,007-ish square feet. All right, over here, stack one. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to also show you more sights and sounds of 19 Nassim Hill, um, well presented by none other than yours truly. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy this uh, virtual tour, so called a video tour of 19 Nassim Hill. When you arrive at the courtyard of 19 Nassim Hill, you will be instantly greeted by its welcoming presence. The architect has meticulously considered the site terrain and has virtually taken a slice of the botanic gardens to transform the site with pockets of surprises for you. Enter the courtyard and you'll find yourself meandering through the landscape to uncover the garden lounge. As you stroll down the stairs, it opens up to a hidden oasis of relaxation, allowing you to soak in the tranquility by the 25 meters lap pool and of course the facilities at the club. Designed by SCBA, 19 Nassim Hill has been finely crafted, almost like a jewel that exudes privilege and class. You are now the proud owner of an unparalleled address that is often associated with the billionaires and tycoons in Singapore. And your exquisite home fittings truly reflect the exclusive status that befits the Nassim address. 19 Nassim Hill also equips you with some of the most advanced technology in lifestyle living showcasing some of the first smart homes powered by artificial intelligence. You may also entertain your families and friends on the 10th floor with a view of the exclusive neighborhood by the relaxation pool or the heated jet pool, or enjoy your family gatherings at the grill or the lounge. Ladies and gentlemen, unless we are willing to fork out eight figures for our next home, there's never been a chance to be part of the elusive Nassim community until now. With its direct access to both Nassim Hill and Napier Road, and just a short stroll to the Napier Station, 19 Nassim Hill offers a unique combination of class and convenience. This appeals to both tenants and homeowners alike who appreciate the finer privileges in life and you will be pleasantly surprised that you can now own such privileges within easy reach. My name is PK So, and I'm the official marketing agent and will be able to assist you on analyzing the best choices for your needs. Please feel free to call me at 96971131 or visit any links that are associated with this video. I look forward to meeting you soon online or here at 19 Nassim Kiel.